All right, so this is how you wire a, uh, a smart switch uh, to your 12 volt LED pool light, low voltage pool light. Now, uh, you can see here I have a schematic, and again, please uh, pause the, uh, the screen uh, if you need more time to look at the schematic. Uh, you can see here I have a little wiring diagram, uh, that little picture. That shows the transformer, the three lines coming out of the transformer. Uh, the third one down is the 12 volt um, wire, so you want to be sure that you use that and not the 13 or 14. It is a black wire. But please pause this schematic, please pause the screen share so you can make yourself familiar with this and how to wire everything because it's going to be tough to follow right here. And yes, this is a voiceover because I did not want you to hear any crazy background and get distracted. Uh, so right here I have a basic mechanical timer, uh, just pretty basic electrical box, nothing fancy. Um, so this is a single pole CASA. TP link smart switch link is in the description. You can get it for like $15 um, pretty good price and This is a single pole switch and the difference uh, between wiring this switch and um, a regular switch is um, There's really not much difference other than uh, those older basic dumb switches. I guess you can call them um they're, they kind of act like momentary push switches, so they can work if you wire it either at the end on the light side in the transformer, uh, but this one is not the case. So what you want to do here is take out the old light, of course. This is how it looks like installed. And what you want to do is, and I'll wait till my fingers <laughs> to point over, um, so let's see we want to connect that ground wire i think I'm, I'm i think i'm talking about uh connecting that green wire that ground wire yep that green wire uh which is your ground and you want to connect it to the old ground where that little copper wire uh that bronze wire brown wire uh you want to connect it to the ground you want to connect it to the ground which connects to the ground to everything else and then you want to connect that white line this white wire which is your neutral and you want to connect it to the neutral wire uh, where all your other pool equipment the pump all everything uh, the GFI all of that now you have your line in load that comes out of the switch and you want to connect that and this is very important um, see right there, that red line, that is coming out of my light, and that black line is coming out of my light. So what you want to do is you want to connect one of the black wire coming out of the, out of the switch to the power, where everything is coming out of the GFI is going there. Um, then we also have the pump and everything else for the mechanical timer, and you also have uh, the transformer going in there as well, um, the 12 volt transformer, actually, I'm sorry, the 12 volt transformer actually connects to the other side of the switch. So we have this side, that's 12 volt that I showed you in the schematic earlier. This is going to connect to one of the black wires to the switch. You don't want to use the blue or yellow wire, just that black one, which is 12 volts. So you take that 12 volt wire and then you see you kind of connect it to the switch and then you take that other black wire and you connect it to the rest of the power where everything is going to because that's going to connect to the power to the GFI which is obviously coming from the house. And then it goes through these two wires. It goes through that transformer which acts as a step down converter. And you just want to take those two wires that's on the bottom and you want to put them on each wire onto the two wires coming out of the uh, the wire for this uh, for the light and that's pretty much all there is to it so you see that red line you want to get those uh, wire nuts and you want to connect everything with these wire nuts with all you know the yellow the orange the red things that I have on there connecting the wires 
they're called wire nuts. That's what you're going to want to use. So, that's pretty much all there is to it. Those two wires at the other end of the transformer only sends 12 volts, and then it goes to the light, and then you can turn the switch off and on. You can see right here that the switch is on. Now, the switch is going to turn a, uh, like an orange color when you turn it on. Um, but now that you see, I turn it off. And it's off. So right now I'm going to show you, I hope this helped, I am going to show you how to set up um, the app, how to connect it to the app. Okay, so you want to download the CASA Smart app, as you see there. Uh, sorry if I'm going too quick. Uh, pause the screen and rewind it. But you want to download the CASA Smart app on your phone. And then you want to, of course, add a new device and then go to Smart Switches. Um, just follow this wizard as you see here. And then just follow the setup wizard. And here, uh, blinking orange light, green light. Uh, I didn't really show you this much, um, but this is really uh, hard to see since it is a sunny day. Um, but it does blink when you connect everything. And of course you want to add the network, the TP-Link network. After that's set up, uh, you want to add your own network. So I choose my own network, of course enter my password and then once you connect you are connected and that's pretty much pretty much all there is to it give it a name pool light uh, I like this law lamp light bulb icon so we'll go with that and there you go success so uh, sounds good and there we go so pretty much everything is straightforward this is what it looks like uh, so this is what you would be looking at to turn off and on the pool you just simply uh, press on the power button to power off and on your light and that's pretty much it. So here it's a little bit blurry, actually a lot blurry, but what I do here is I click on it, it goes up to a big old power button. You also get statistics and analytics as well. I'm not really concerned about that. Um, so here it is, I'm by the pool, and simply click on it, and look at that. I don't know if you see, but I have a pinkish purplish light on. And it works like a charm, super quick response time. Turn it off, boom. I'll turn it back on again. I'll do it a few times. My light is actually, um, has all sorts of different color modes and whatnot. And if you turn it off for three seconds and turn it back on, you'll see right here, uh, changes a different color. Uh, so it does work with any sort of features your light has. Um, but other than that, response times are super quick. There you go. You see I have blue now. Turn it off. One, two, three. Turn it back on. Uh, I didn't time it <laughs> right. Um, but it, there we go, red. It works flawlessly. But anyway, thanks for the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, say bye to my dog there. Comment and subscribe if you want more.